What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. God, I feel like Natural Order is the pick here. Because I just like drafting stupid green decks, apparently. I don't think it's Narset. I don't think it's Zealous Conscripts. Could be Opposition. Factor Fiction is also just decent. Could just start with a Simic Signet. Let's see where things go, you know? Keep, our, you. keep our lives open. Oh, T. Bombadil. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's the uh, what's the pick here? Is it natural order? It's natural order. Now it's through the breach. Now we're going to be breaching. Could have went. If we took that signet, we could, we could take a Misha's workshop here. Yeah, let's take through the... Let's breach him. Splinter Twin. Well, I gotta take a Splinter Twin here. It's just... There's also an... I mean, Animate Dead, Sheldock. These packs have been decent. Demir Signet. I kind of like a Library of Alexandria here. I'll take a Library. Not me. You know, you know I, I think Library is good. I think uh, I think it's uh, pretty, 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 pretty good. Psychotic Cat, good games, man. <laughs> good games. Yeah, like... I don't know. Drumano lands, unfortunately. That's how the cube will do you. Yeah, I mean, Sword Against the primarily blue-green deck is pretty good. That was also... Was that the second time we faced that sword? Or just the first? I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, like, it's funny because we have Fraley's, we have Knight of Autumn, and we have Rex Sage in our deck, and I just couldn't draw any of them. Or, and Green Sun Zena. So I basically have four main deck ways to deal with the sword. Um, let's take Steam Vents here because obviously we're hoping to twin some things. I'm in it to twin it. I want to take this Thieving Skydiver. That seems great. Oh, good. Crater Hoof Behemoth. That's exactly what I want to see. When we first pick natural order and then default into twin. So I'll take these. Basalt monolith, I guess. I don't love it. I, I'm, I'm not a big faithless looting fan. I mean, that's just that's just me as a player. It's not gonna, we're not gonna make it happen, guys. So I'm just gonna take the monolith. I guess we'll take a chain lightning here. We have found nothing to breach yet.
What's the hold up here? Tezzeret, interesting, interesting. I think we're just taking Karn. I like Karn better. Oh yeah, I mean like obviously if we knew we were gonna take Splinter Twin, Zealous Conscripts is just better. But I mean we could also have the Splinter Twin through the breach deck with literal zero uh of anything. I'm gonna take Valky here. I don't think we're gonna weld her, but I could actually see playing the backside of Valky. Especially with a Basalt Monolith. Like, turn three Basalt Monolith is turn four Valky. Tybalt, I guess we should say. Um, yeah, I'll just take Explosion Expansion. Yeah, just take Banefire. I just want to say thank you for the years and years of comments. Content. Five years of great mayor, GP Detroit during El Jazzy Winter, and you saw my planet. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Corby, that's friggin' amazing, man. Thank you. For saying so, really appreciate it. That's amazing, David. I did meet you at GP Detroit. Do we meet there, or do we did I just see you there? Because I know I also saw you at uh, Vegas. Can someone pick a name for my Great Pyrenees puppy? Okay, you don't have to brag about how great it is. Sounds a joke because it's. I could see Detroit being our first meet. I'm pretty sure Detroit was like a year before um, Vagas. Vagasio. I like Spire Bluff Canal, but I think I like Glenelinger better here. Spire Bluff might come back. No one cares about a Spire Bluff Canal. I don't play Magic anymore, but I still enjoy your... Con Dude, that's awesome. I mean, it's not awesome that you don't play Magic. Magic's pretty cool, but I mean... If you don't need to play Magic to be happy, then that's fucking fantastic as well. And I'm glad I'm, uh... Glad you still got that play, Matt. I'm gonna take this Volcanic Island. If you do name it Moochel, you can tell the chat how Moochel peed, peed on you or pooped on your rug, etc. Thank you! Man, Mediocre Magic Man with the strats here. Or Music Manly. Dang it! David was a gifted sub. I appreciate you, buddy. You are awesome. Also, I think I'm always going to get... I Dude, I get Mediocre Magic Man and Music Manly confused so frequently because their names are just M-M-M-M-M. Like, it's three M's and then two M's. It's pretty hilarious. I mean, for me, it is. It, maybe, maybe they're sad about it. Okay, we do have an Ulamog here. We can breach that guy. Take an Ulmog. We don't have anything to Splinter Twin yet, so that's unfortunate. I've been thinking of rebranding. Why? Well, he probably won an F and M. So this name doesn't hold up anymore. FNM win a magic man.
Just Splinter Twin Utamog. You can't. Well, yeah, you can. You can't Kiki Jiki Utamog. You can Splinter Twin him, though. I kind of wanted to start using my real name, but for some reason someone has already taken it. That's messed up. I think I like Riftwing Cloudskate over Metamorph. <laughs> you don't even know my real name. Um, I think we gotta take Ancestral Vision over a Braid. This is the perfect Ancestral Vision deck, right? I met Frank in the middle of 11th Street in Philadelphia as he was leaving Wawa and he was going to Wawa. And he, as I was leaving Wawa and he was going to Wawa, I said, hey, it's Frank. Yeah, that's that did happen. That had to be like nine years ago. That was a ridiculous amount of time ago. Okay, show and tell. <laughs> Do you want to show and tell an Utamog? Probably not. Nothing else is that good, though. I guess we could just Grim Lava Mancer. That's not exciting. Pfft. I mean, I would sooner take... I say, hey, it's Frank Laporte to anyone I see in public, just in case. <laughs> that's good. That's a good, uh, that's a good safety net. These packs are really rough. And we're going to take the Vantage in case we draw, like, Resto for our... I guess it's not Splinter Twin, but... Maybe there's a Village Bell Ringer in here. Let's take Ashen Rider. We can throw the Breach that guy, right? I'm not sure if we will. Karen Alar is not the worst pick up here. We can take Soulfire Grandmaster and hope we hit a time walk in the next pack. Uh, there's no Village Bell Ringer in this cube. No, that was a joke. I met Frank on a Cessna traveling from Buenos Aires to an archaeological dig in the Amazon. He was smoking a cigarette looking out the window and said, nobody's ever come back from this place. They sw they say the jungle swallows men up. The curse. Is that from... Is that from Congo? Oh, wow. Young Pyromancer and Incinerate. Is it from Anaconda? Oh, my God, dude.
I guess Congo would be in Africa, right? So that's not going to be... We're not going to be going to the Amazon. So I guess if we just use the context clues, I could narrow it down. Myself. I'll take Firebolt. Hey, Grave Titan is fine. Young PZ into Pyroclasm. Live the dream. Bomb make a token. Oh, it's dead. Goodbye, token. All right, our third pack really needs to pick up for both Through the Breach and Splinty Twin. Oh, well, I mean, a Mox Sapphire is good, too. And I'm glad there's no uh, Pestermite Deceiver Exarch that we have to choose from. Yeah, Mox Sapphire is bananas. Come on, let's do it. This Ulamog is not nearly as good when you sneak it into play. I might just be Wandering Fumeral. I like Urza a lot, but we're not an Urza deck. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Wandering Fumeral. Having, oh, Treachery? I do like a big Tretch. Can Dig Through Time come back? I'd really appreciate that. Can we get a friggin' Pestermite or a Kiki Jiggy or something? Well, maybe not a Kiki Jiggy because that would just give us two of the card that we don't need more of. It's not looking good for us, guys. I will take Force of Will. If we get a combo... It protects our combo. <laughs> Mana Drain? What? Wow. That is a late mana drain. That we as of yet have nothing to do with. This is a late channel. Channel into mana drain? What in the earth, dude? Oh, God. I want cryptic command, obviously. I think we're just taking cryptic command. It's just very good. We have mana drain. We have three dual lands. Yeah, we're just taking that cryptic command. I mean, Blightsteel could kill them, sure, but it's very unlikely. If they have a 2-2, two -two, <laughs> or any X-2, then, you know, it's just... It's not going to do the job you want them to do. I mean, I don't know what this deck is doing. <sighs> Warren Power Stone, are you the pick? Maybe, yeah, I just think Warren Power Stone. I do like Looter. Looter does help us find our, our combo pieces. Yeah, that's fine. God, can I get just one Deceiver Exarch or one Pestermite? I would feel so much better. The answer was no. I'm going to take Cosima here.
<laughs> oh, man. Music Manly with the Pestermite. Appreciate it, buddy. We'll just put this guy right over here. Make it nice and small. Yeah, we'll just put it right here. Guys, we did it. We hit our Pestermite. I like the cards in our deck. I'm just not a fan of our plan. <laughs> mm, walking Ballista is not terrible. Duretti. Interesting. What in the earth? You know what? I'll still take it. It's better than the other options for us. I mean, this is 23. Splinter Twin's pretty bad, though, so... <laughs> Probably not playing that. We got no Tinkers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wish we had a black... I wish we had a way to just splash this Valky. We have no way to produce black, unfortunately. Resto goes with Kiki Jiki, but not with Splinter Twin. <laughs> oh, God, the perfect stranger's reference. Oh, boy. I don't have a Dark Slick Shores. I would really like to just play this. I mean, especially with both Mana Drain and Basalt Monolith. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Can Dreadhorde Arcanist hit Ancestral Vision? I never know. I never know how those things work. The cost is less than or equal to its power, right? Yeah, if you can uh, cast Ancestral with Dreadhorde Arcanist, I'm in for that. It has low mana cost. I mean, we also get Firebolt and Chain Lightning out of it, so... Dude, I don't know what this deck is doing. Do we just play Ashen Rider as a, as a Through the Breach target? Nug two perms? I don't know. Probably. It's a little bit funny. I'm just feeling inside. Maybe not. I mean, we're just hoping that this is a two-card combo, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, five, six, seven, eight. I like ten, nine better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine. Then again, we do have double, triple, and we have 
only one double red card. Yeah, I like this better. Okay. Oh, boy. Back on the 1-2 train. I don't have high hopes, guys. Every time I keep a hand thinking I'll draw one land, I draw the only seven drop in the deck. What problem is? Tell me the problem. Frank doesn't have high hopes. Two one or better, guaranteed. Dang. I guess that's good, right? All right, let's do it. Ugh, this hand is not great. What do you do? Nothing. You do nothing. I'll keep this. I mean, at least if they play something, we got interaction. We also got a walking ballista, which what could possibly go wrong. Oh, fascinating. I don't have much money, but boy, if I did. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Should we have force of all that? Nah, I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Let's get in there. I mean, maybe they just died of their own bitter blossom. Oh, boy. Can't counter that. Always a pleasure falling, Shinobi. We're playing this first because it is possible they play like a one mana or even two mana instant or sorcery that we want to copy. Making a guy, we don't need a thing right now. We don't need a cards. We have things to do. Plus, the next turn we can play Basalt Monolith and make another guy. And there'll be four fours.
I mean, even if they wipe the board here, it's kind of fine. We get to keep a Karn. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can expansion explosion for five. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> I don't think it's worth wasting an expansion. Um, when this is going to draw us like five cards. Chain Lightning or Looter? Interesting. So if they draw a white and they try to attack Karn, we can... Okay. It's a little bit funny. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're just kind of... Expansion. Choose any target deals damage. Draws the cards. One, two, three, four. I'm going to do a force of will here, so one, two, three, four, five. My turn. Okay. That's how you do it. Which we had to demonstrate because it doesn't come easy, so. All right. I don't hate this. If we can top deck a mox, that'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Ulamog decides all games. Oh, we can just kill that thing? That's great. <laughs> Good times. All right. Well, kill it. I do like a Cosima next turn. That's kind of cool. Destroy the jaw. Oh, man. I can't take that yet, though, can I? Not yet. So if I play Basalt Monolith, I can, right? Like, next turn, we can go Thieving Skydiver, steal your Basalt Monolith. I don't know if that's great, though. They only get one use. Is Cosima too slow? I don't think so. I mean, I'm just going to play it right now. What's the Omen Keel do? Okay, actual garbage. Like, the problem is they're going to get to use this no matter what we do. So if we go Basalt Monolith ourselves, and then the turn after that try to take this, it's already going to be tapped, and they're already going to have access to the 7 mana. So, yeah, it's a little slow. Plus, we already have enough mana to play both Karn and Thieving Skydiver next turn, so it's not super relevant for us to to steal their... Alright, this is all fine. Yeah, she gonna go. And you gonna come on down next turn. Send him on down to Rat Train. Uh, let's make this big enough. Add a counter. So, we're just going to play Karn here, and plus Karn. And if they want to attack it with Colonnade and use their Basalt Monolith, that's fine. Oh, I like that, actually. Okay. Oh, they gave it to us, so never mind, they know about it. There's no way they're walking into a daze. Yep. 
Yep, you can have that. Oh, I can steal that. I mean, next turn, I think we're just stealing the Basalt Monolith. So. Are you coming down? Oh, I like that. Let's bounce your Celestial Colonnade. Well, we're not going to return you yet. I think drawing two cards is like the sweet spot for Cosima. thing oh they didn't tap it in response oh that's a that's an amateur move oh man got lucky that is a trade I will make Shark Typhoon is the most powerful MTG crossover Dang card ever. You. It's not incorrect. Wait, did they just untap it without tapping it first? Oh no. RRQK Chapman, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Double welcomes for you. Oh, really? Uh, well, we can't daze it. This is fine, I guess. Ulamog. Island is okay, too, I guess. I mean, let's actually bring Cosima back and draw two. If we hit an Ulamog, like, we're just going to play that. <laughs> well, okie dokie. Um, that's, that's how we set it up, I guess. It's a little bit funny, uh, this feeling inside. Oh, you know, you know, you know who it is. What if I don't have it in hand? Ulamog doing it every game. Oh, fracture identity? I, one, two, three, four. Why didn't they fracture identity into the Karn last turn instead? That seems that seems better. Why didn't they bribery last turn? Wait, what? I'm very confused. Their hand is very good. They played colonnades. They had one, two, three, four. They used all four of this mana. Oh, they knew we had days. They were playing around the days. Good call, David. Good call. Yeah, they gave this to us. 
Yeah, so actually their two five mana spells were negated and they accidentally uh, didn't add the extra mana. Good call, good call. Okay, glad you guys are here. I make the plays in the game, but you actually explain why my opponent did the things they did. Oh, man, it's so funny because if they did bribery, they would have just taken the Ulamog, which would have not only prevented us from winning. Oh, we would have drawn to treachery, though. So I guess we could have just treacheried the Ulamog back. So I guess we had our bases covered, but still. Oh, it didn't go out. Okay. Um, yes. Turn one ancestral and turn two mana drain. Snap keep. Guess that daze left them fractured. <laughs> yeah, totally. So here we have an interesting series of plays. We can either play Steam Vents untapped and let them think like, oh, this is the only blue source we have in our hand, so I have to play Ancestral with it. Or we can hope to draw another island to play with Steam to, to play Mana Drain with. If we don't draw that, we're gonna play Steam Vents untapped, and that's much bigger tell. But I don't necessarily like giving away two life if it's not vital. Plus, we can also just play Luteral Core because we don't think they're going to play anything that's super necessary to counter. So I'm actually just going to play Looter here. And then next turn, we can probably try to find a third land. Oh, what up, Unforgiven? Always oh, good seeing you, buddy. Ba -na 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 -na. No, oh, it is at Signet, huh? Well, see you later. Oh, they're getting in there with a welder? Weld, see you later. <laughs> oh, man, I'm a funny guy. I just want one land here. Well, that was too much to ask for, I suppose. Tempted to get rid of Duretti here. We could just play Duretti next turn, though. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of Walking Ballista. We could always get it back with Duretti, right? Vents untapped into Facebook to face your own. Oh, fire <laughs> untapped into Firebolt your own face. Yeah, that's actually the that's the pro play. We should do a we should do a, a draft where antibody just suggests all the plays. Well, if we counter this, they just get it back with welder. But then we get to steal it with skydiver. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Sure. Spell Pierce. No, they didn't. Oh my god, they're just attacking? They're not going to get the Golos back? <gasps> oh boy. Oh man, this is just too much. Okay. Five, six, seven, we have eight total mana. So I think it's actually Glenn and, and Skydiver here. 
One, two, three. I mean, if they had spell pierce, they would have count. They would have countered something, right? So, but then again, I kind of like getting rid of the welder because I mean, I don't want them to get Golos back. We could also play Duretti. I think we have to firebolt the welder. So this is four and this is four. We have seven. Yeah. I think Glenn is probably the better play here. We're one short of being able to steal their thing. I'm going to pitch Mountain, actually. I feel like our odds of drawing lands are pretty decent here, especially when we get hit to a turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Is it another Sundering Titan? No, it's an X spell. It is another Sundering Titan. Yeah. So the correct play was Steven Sky to ever steal this. I'm just not going to play against Sundering Titan here. That's just... <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Cool. I will keep this hand. This still lets us play turn two mana drain. Um, as for the podcast, I don't know. Me and I think I don't know. It's really hard to like. I think Rob is getting less interested with magic, and he's still he's just doing more family things and stuff, and then COVID and not being able to go to events and like. I don't know. It's very hard to find to find people to podcast with that want to keep podcasting, so. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Ba -na 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 -na. That is five. What would the podcast be about? You mean the one that already exists? I don't know what you're referring to. Oh, man, they made you play out the Kiki combo. I mean, like, in Vintage Cube, come on, man. We're all going to play combos. You ain't got to be like that. I'll podcast with you every day. Is that true? Will you? -na 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 -na. Um, We're going to just play Mock Sapphire here. We're going to go to six cards anyway. 
or seven cards next turn anyway. You got it. So now, go to seven. We can draw. And we can play. And now we have Days and Mana Drain. Why do you not inform me? Like, it's literally in the chat, like, every fifth, every five minutes. Check out the Freshly Brewed podcast that Rob and I every week. It's Plus, like, I mean, I've been doing Freshly Brewed in one form or another since, like, 2014. So, at a certain point, I feel like I've done my duty. You can be the personality and the professional. I can be the Dewey who talks about statistics and the boring things that make people not want to listen to the podcast. God, this podcast would be great if it wasn't for that. What's his name? Chris? I, I kind of want to just play Ballista for four and then keep up Cryptic. But they have four mana, so I think it's actually just Glenn. And we probably should have played Fumarole, I guess. Because I'm a dum dum. I mean, we're just going to keep drawing every turn. Man, the ads are literally for me. <laughs> like, it's literally one of the ways, like, I can, I can actually have people support my stuff. So, like, if you guys are watching the stream consistently and not, not checking out the ads, then, like, I make the ads. Like, I, those all, everything you see in the chat. I've I've put them in there to support my stuff. Um, yeah, that's fine. I can't counter this guy. So if you've never checked them out, definitely at least consider checking them out. You keep drawing cards. Okay, okay, I'll look at them more. Appreciate you, Packrat. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, I guess we're just playing Fumarole here. And now we get to keep up Days and Cryptic. They have two cards. I feel like this game is over. I don't know, man. We have Cryptic Days and Force of Will in hand. We didn't even suspend this. Uh, you got it. Man, they didn't even add two with the metal worker to play that for free. What are you, Google? Yes. They have no cards in hand. I have no incentive not to. We can't be giving you no Jitte. Are they gonna attack for one? Oh boy. This little look at this little guy. But no 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 no. One, two, three, four. Let's get in there. There's a lot of card draw in our deck, so at least, like, we have very few combos, but at least we can have, like, combos. We have ways to find our combos, if you know what I'm saying. Let's play this. Uh, let's draw. It's going to be through the breach. I felt it, but not that strong. Man, eventually we'll we'll be able to suspend this ancestral vision. I'm sure of it.
They'll get there. I believe in them. Oh, Dready Boy. Still got 22 cards, man. Okay. Well, pitch Island. Actually, maybe we just pitch Ancestral next turn. <laughs> this is wild. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. <laughs> now you can't get in there with your stupid metal worker anymore. Smokestack? I mean, that seems terrible for us, so... You hear these birds outside? I don't know if you can hear them. They're almost going crazy. Um, we need one, two, three, four, five. One, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Oof. Oof. How close are we? Yeah, so they're just dead next turn, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can six, seven, eight, nine, ten them. I guess we got a walking ballista too. Tinker, huh? They're gonna get Sundering Titan, presumably. No, I don't like that. We also have, they have no cards in hand, so. Yeah, that'll do. All right, cool. Were we drawn next turn? No, we still have like four more turns from that guy. We just don't have many good things to do. We haven't drawn Young Pyromancer yet. Yeah. Our deck seems fine. Definitely grindy, but we definitely have some some nice elements in here. All right, game three. Oh, interesting. Turn one Arcanist into turn two Cosima seems good. 
And then if we get a red source, turn three P and Karen alarm. I mean, I hope we get ancestral vision off the top or mana drain. Steam vents. Okay, you got it. Oh boy. It's gonna be a metal worker. Does it seem like today is so much more fun and relaxed compared to the past few drafts you've done? It's a little more, it's a little more, uh... oh, interesting. I mean, I don't feel like my opponents always have it, at least. So that's a good start. I mean, if they drop a Metal Worker, we're definitely just going to kill it with a Walking Ballista. Book around and find out, Metal Worker. They're shot in port. Okay. I mean, they have seven mana already for uh, artifacts, which is not ideal. Blightsteel? Interesting. Well, that's hard to deal with. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Dang it, Unforgiven. Uh, no attacks. I actually don't know how to deal with that. I don't think we have a good answer for it in our entire deck. So, that's unfortunate. I mean, ideally we can top deck both a land and through the breach at the same time. I think that would do it. Or we can top deck a land, play it, return Cosima. And then find it through the breach. Still wouldn't kill them, actually. They could just sack their four lands, keep the blight steel, and then, then we'd... Yeah. We don't have treachery in our deck. Oh, what up, McGimp? I did actually like your gift. I love it, and I have it actually on my desk. This is actually a gift from McGimp. It is a gut shot signed by all my buddies at Collector Legion, which is uh, which is the store in California. Okay, we have eight poison. Time walk. Nope, you're just casting a five mana artifact. Memory jar. Okie dokie. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Close. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, lose the tinker, I guess. Yep, pretty sure we have no answer to a uh, to a Blightsteel Colossus. Uh, Cryptic Command, we could bounce it, or Riftwing Cloudscape. Oh, we do have Treachery. Wow. David's correct. So we could have been Treachery, Riftwing Cloudscape, or Cryptic Command were all answers. So I guess we had multiple answers. I, I lied to you guys. I'm so sorry. Yeah, actually, Mike, I was going to ask you if this Alex B was who I thought it was. And I really wondered. I was like, wait, why would he sign that? Because Alex and I do not get along because I've called him out for his bullshit. So uh, I was actually wondering why he would have signed that. And I also think it's kind of hilarious that you guys got him to sign it. So tell me that story. Doom, 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 doom. 
Okay, so that's not a signature. That's literally just you guys putting his name on that, on the guy in the art, is what you're saying? Because that's so much better. And you guys are fucking awesome, and I love you guys. Okay, that's actually awesome, dude. <laughs> Because I knew he played there, so I was like, why would you get him to sign that? And, like, why would he? Oh, man, that's hilarious. Okay, this is... It just got significantly better. Apparently, Sal doesn't play Magic anymore, and he lost, like, a million pounds. Nifty Chris, we are definitely talking about the same. Yes, I did notice it said 2019 on here. It said Grim 2019, and I was like, wow, two years, Mike. <laughs> really took your time getting this to me, buddy. Yeah, he played a Collector Legion because he was just a California player after he moved there from New York, I guess. Um, This hand seems fine. We have a Force of Will and a Cryptic Commandy. Library of Alexandria off the top. That wasn't it. Three new... <laughs> <laughs> Three new bannings. Wild mechanical punishing fire on me. Wow, that's hilarious. Dude, he was always so self-aware, but like it never mattered because like he never did anything good with his self-awareness. It's so weird. Like that dude's like a Oh boy, something's happening. Garuki. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, they played three tapped lands. Wait, how did they get? Oh, it's their turn four, okay. Okay, well. <laughs> Two explorers, that's how. Solid. Done. Get that guy out of here. Well, whatever this nonsense is, I'm pretty sure I'm going to cryptic command it. Gideon?
Ooh, lands. Okay. I mean, now they can come at they can come at Karn with their three four, but it doesn't kill it. And then we plus one to four, and then it doesn't kill it again. And that's their whole turn, so I'm okay with that. I got my Bob Ross lands. They're so precious that I won't open the package. You don't have to. You can do whatever you like with them. That is your... For fuck's sake. Oh, I hate it so much. Solid draw. God, I wish we weren't two turns away from Ancestral. Something good. Uh... Okay, well, Karn is still dead. So what do we only have? We have a mountain with a counter on it, so might as well just... Oh, I guess we're getting another island. I mean, maybe they go, like, Heartless Act, kill Dreadhorde Arcanist, and then we can go kill Questing Beast. I would probably do that. I think we're definitely doing that. Um, because the number of cards we're going to draw off this is pretty similar. Plus, we just don't take a million. Um, expansion. Choose target instant or sorcery. This one. Plus, we're just going to draw this guy anyway next turn. And by that time, Karn should be at five, so... Plus, we're going to draw three from this, and then we're going to play it again off Dreadhorde, so... You know, that's a lot of that's a lot of cards. Oh, biscuits! Four, five, six. We have seven mana. Oh, man. Eh, we're just going to plus here. Ooh, Basalt Monolith. And a library? That's gonna give me a library, sure. I mean, next turn we attack with Dreadhorde, we hit Ancestral, we draw again with library, sure. Uh, don't care about that. Okay, this is actually going quite well. Yep, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh boy, that's a thing, all right. So we can go library to seven, draw our card, uh, looter. One, two, three, four. We can actually play... We can get KP and Kieran Alar back. Let's do that. Play Mox. One, two, three, four. Still keep up Mana Drain. So the question is, like, we can't block... Questing Beast. Is it worth treacherying the Questing Beast? I mean, probably. I meant mana draining, not treacherying. So. Okay, that's going to be the end. 
Yep, all right, that worked out well for us. And questing beast is a hell of a drug. Eh, something like this. I did see the anthology announcement. A, I don't care about Death Shadow. I've never been a Death Shadow player. It's just not that exciting. And B, like, I wish they put better cards in it. I don't know. There's some weird choices in there. Can we call it Questing Beast Yield Questing Beast? I don't, I don't see why not. That was actually a good draw here. Oh, they took Young Peasy. I was going to play Young Peasy. Dang, that's rude. Do you think they picked good cards for the time shifted set? I do, actually. There's definitely some cards I wish they reprinted. But in general, yeah, I think they, they picked some pretty good stuff. You got it. They have two cards in hand? I'm pretty okay with that. Oh, I like that a lot. We can play Galenalendra with backup. Glenny, Glenny and the Jets. Here comes Questing Beast. They mistapped their mana because they don't know what they're doing. Here comes your questy boy. Oh, Gary. Um, what? No. That's much worse for them. Oh. Oh. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Loving it. Can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? I didn't mean to steal your thing. Oh, we just win the game. 2-1. The streak has been broken. Back-to-back 2-1s. I accept it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out manatraders.com. You can get 15% off with the link and promo code down below. Be sure to check those out. It's a great way to support the channel. Go to Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday to find my articles. Subscribe on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube. Do the things. I'll see you next time.